Yeah. Hello, viewers. Um, welcome to another episode of Your Time Show. Um, Your Time Show is the show here that is here to unveil, unveil the hidden and raw talents we have within the art of literature. Um, today we have a tea, a whole tea, a full package of a poetry tea. You know, and 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 they go by the name Poets Diction. Of course, yes. Today I expect a very poetic interaction here with this group. So I'll allow them to introduce themselves and then we start with the discussion. Hello, gentle ladies. What are your names? I am Maria Makesise. And I am Yande Jan. Well, we are all Red Cross volunteers, and two of them are from the same link, that is Bundung Home Red Cross link, and I am from La Tirkunda. Okay. But Bundung do have their meetings in the branch, so we all know each other. Sometimes we do have this branch comes and all those stuff, so we interact and socialize. There was this day that we were from school. Mm -hmm. I and Sena were close friends, and Mariama and um, Umi were also close friends. Mm -hmm. So I discussed with Sena that we need two people to join us to have um, a poetry group. She said, one, it's okay, so that we can have at least three. Mm -hmm. So that was when we went to Umidabo to talk to her about this, and she accepted. She said she was interested in this group. So that was how we started the poetry group. We wrote our first piece and have um, delivered it um, at Nusrat. Okay. The home, their home link organized a drama competition. Uh -huh. And as we were moving slowly, Mariamo also joined. Mm -hmm. And that is where the journey began. Okay. Um, um, that was in which year? 2018. 2018. 2018. 2018. 2019, right? Okay. That, just, that is just um, last year, right? Yes. All right. Um, that's great. You know, um, 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 these things are not common in the Gambia. Um, poets, a group of poets coming together, forming a team, and doing poetry together. And I normally understand that in one poem, all of you normally have a role to play. How does, it, how does it feel? What are the challenges that you face when you are preparing a poem? Because look at the group, you are four in number. You know, Probably you may have um, different in interests, a topic to write on. Probably you will have difference in a particular line. Let's say you can write a poem, and Mariama can come and say, look, I don't like this, I want you to replace it or not. How do you, how do you deal with the situation okay. when you are writing a poem? Yeah. We don't have any challenges. Huh? We don't have any challenges. You don't have any challenges? Yeah, we really have challenges because we are, we call ourselves sisters. Sisters. Yes, we have the elder one, that is me, followed by Sainabu, then Umi, then we have Mariam. So when we write some things, like, it is very rare to look at it and say, I don't like it, because we know the manner in which we love to write. We know each other that much, so we really have... Okay, okay. And that takes me to another question. How do you write your poems? Because you people are poor in number. Yeah. Is it that she will write, you write, then you got and do things? Or is it that someone will write and then divide the task? We will write. Of All of us do write. Okay. Like, say we will stay at home. We have a group chat. Mm -hmm. So we'll discuss in that group that we want to write a piece on this topic. Mm -hmm. So each and every one of us will write your lines. And the next day or the following week, mm -hmm. we'll meet at one house, then mm -hmm. have our discussions, put some things in, remove some things. That is how we... After we share it. After you yeah. share it. All right, um, that's interesting, you know. Um, um, I'll urge you to keep it up as, as sisters. But then, but then there's only one thing that I don't like here. You people are not gender conscious. Why do you have all sisters? There is no male in your midst. What happened? <laughs> is it that you don't want us in your midst? It's just coincidence. No, this is not coincidence. This is intentional. You choose to be sisters. You don't, you don't choose to have brothers in your midst. Don't you think having a brother in your midst would have add more substance to your work? Yeah, it would have, but we are okay like this. So encouraging the girls, girl power. So if people are feminists. Yeah. <laughs> Let me lower my voice. Anyway, um, it's great. I, I am so much happy to know those things that um, you know, you are so much confident as 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 young girls. You know, this is very unusual thing. We have ladies and girls who can really do this, but let's say because of the or the fear for society, what society will say or hold them against is why they are lagging behind. So you people are out there to break the bond, you know, to break the silence, okay? Of course, it is very true that you were not born to be silent, okay? So keep up the momentum, you know? You people are doing a great work. What was your first piece? What is the title of your first piece? 
That was stop the negative talks because we are born to win. Stop the negative talks because, because we are born to win. What inspired them? Like, before writing that piece, there were many people like discouraging us that we should focus on our education and stop poetry because it might serve as a source of distraction and all those stuff. So when we were writing this piece, we think of all those things and we were ready to face all those challenges because we made mention of that in that piece. So that was when we wrote these things and add, we were adding, reducing until we got that poem. So in summary, then you don't got a wallet, right? You were no, you don't got a wallet, sir. Then don't was in Sahara. No, you were there to close the book. People will be like, okay, if you follow this poetry, okay, you are going to be distracted. We are trying years. to tell them that poetry cannot distract us from our goals. Poetry is. Okay. And that was a negative talk said to you. Yeah. That poetry is is a way of distracting you, right? See, are you people? I'm afraid of you people. So um um. I'm afraid of anyone who tried to tamper with you. you. You are going to break those passing points. Yeah. Mariam, you are a poet. Why are you keeping quiet? Okay. Huh? Are you afraid? Tell us about your experience being poet. I don't have any experience. You don't have much experience. But there is experience. Okay, have you ever performed in a, on a stage? Yeah, our first performance was okay. on a stage. Was where? At Nusrat, then to Ataya Cafe. Ataya Cafe. The same and, day. Okay. And, and now, how do you do this? Is it that you normally agree on the guest host that you are going to apply on your work? Or do you normally have sets like someone will come inside the part, the other one will come, or what? How do you work? Like, we share the lines and then in group. The first piece, we share it like first stanza, Sainabu will take that second stanza, Yan, the third, Umi, and then the fourth one we will say it together. Or sometimes we will recite the whole piece, like first stanza, Sainabu, second, Umi, and third, Yane, and the last one we will recite it together. Oh, I watch your, um, your point, uh, COVID-19 challenge. You know, you were there, and, and your point was really amazing. I watched that one, and it was interesting. I think one of you was, was sitting, was it you? Someone was, oh, she's the mate. She was the mate there, right? I can see that. <laughs> All right, um, this is very interesting. Um, you guys, you are doing a great thing. You know, um, as young poets, you know, you don't have much thing to worry about. Hard work pays off. This is a very true saying. So keep working hard, and then, inshallah, slowly but surely, we are going to reach where we dream of being. You know, but one thing: do you make so much research? Do you make much research about poetry? Like, like you as poets, you are young girls doing poetry. Do you normally make a lot of research regarding poetry? Yeah. Trying to know the different kind of poets we have, trying to know the nature of poetry, how to present your poetry works and so forth. Yeah, we do we do that. And we even have our mentors. They are also poets. They guide us like they will be telling us what this video. He's a poet and I I'm sure you'll be inspired by his words. Mm -hmm. And we will go to YouTube, search some of the poets, American poets, Jamaican, Gambian. Yeah, that is how we go. Who is your favorite Gambian poet? Or a poet in the Gambia that you really look up to? Champion. Omar Champion. Omar Champion. Champion. He's a star. He's a legend. Huh? Yeah. So he's the very one you look up to, right? Yeah. And Great. Abdullah Jaitan. Huh? Abdullah Jaitan. Abdullah Jaitan. Yeah. Abdullah, Abdullah Jaitan. Dreamer. Dreamer. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. okay. And the prophetic poets. All of them do. And the prophetic poets. Abdullah. Yes. Yeah, Abdullah. I know him. I think he was a classmate of mine. Oh. Yeah. All right. That's great. So you people have great role models. And of course, it's with the names that you mentioned here. Nothing is stopping you. You people are going to meet it there. So, so keep it up, okay? Keep it up, keep it up. I, I, I like that. But, Yande, does it, how, do you, how does it feel working with this girl? She, she seems to be the quiet type. Maria, I'm going to help. Let's go. Okay. That's it. So, it is sounding interesting that, that, that um, you people are able to come up uh, with these things. You know, They are really inspiring. Personally, myself, probably I have a problem of a group work. Maybe, maybe, it, maybe I feel if I work with the team, they will rush me with their timelines. So you people are able to maintain the same spirit as sisters, and you are doing the work perfectly. And definitely, to let you know this, people definitely respect and honor what you are doing. So keep it up. This guy is the name. All right. Um. Hello, viewers. We'll be going back. Uh, we'll be going for a short commercial break. When we come back, we'll continue with the gentle ladies here. Thank you. Welcome to the Gambia. This is where we call the land of smiling coast. All 
Hi, welcome back viewers. Um, um, after that short commercial break, um, as I said earlier, today our guest today is Poise Dixon. Poise Dixon is a group of young girls. They are four in number. Before the break, we had two. After the break now, we are having the other two here in order to continue the discussion with them. I will allow them to also to introduce themselves, to tell us their names, and then we we'll continue with the discussion. Um, my name is Sena Wusi from the Poets Diction. And I am Umidawa from the Poets Diction. Sena Wusi from the Poets Diction. Umidawa from the Poets Diction. You know, uh, uh, it's interesting, you know. Now, I just want us to go straight to this. Do you find writing poems very easy? Do you think writing a poem is easy? Do you find it easy? Actually. What? It is, you know, it is not that easy to go think of words and lines to to put together in order to have a poem. It's not that easy. It's not that easy. Especially on my side. Okay. Everybody will submit and I will be the last to submit my poem. So that means you don't, you don't, you don't normally bear the body of thinking. You know, you know, one of the qualities of a good poet is someone who thinks like there's no suffering. You know, think deeply, rationalize things. So if if you are not willing to take that body of thinking thoroughly or very far, probably sometimes you have the obstacles. Yes, of course, writing a poem is not easy. Now, when you are to write a poem, what do you consider most? Do you plan to write a poem so that when people see it or heard about it, they will be impressed? Or when writing a poem, you just consider the way you want to express it? Like, for example, myself, when I'm writing a poem, I don't mind how will people react outside what i mind is what i want to pass and how will i pass it how how do i feel comfortable passing it out is that the same situation with you do you, do you just write because okay this is what you want to pass through and you are taking it out or you always want to write and be like wow we want to write this so that when everybody listen to it, will be like wow these people are yeah. that is exactly how we we write our poems it is not that we write it in order to like to think of what other people will say outside okay we don't think of that what we concentrate on is, yes, this is the topic we want to write on, and we are going to write on it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what people say about it. Mm -hmm. We need to try our level best mm -hmm. to be able to impress them with what we say. Sure, sure, sure. That's it. So, um, 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 that's very important, you know. You know that poets are agents of change, you know. You know. The last time I said it here, we are in a very dark and deprived time today. Okay. So, in order to let the world to know that there is still a possibility of a greater world, poetry is one of the most powerful tools that can be used to show the world that, well, still we can make a greater world. And then, uh, of course, yes, your poems are a manifestation of your talent and skill embedded in it. I am proud of you guys. Keep it up. And, no. you know, some people will be like, I will not say this. If I say this, it will affect this and this. For okay. us, we don't, we don't take any side. Okay. All we do is to speak our defects. That is just the point based on being themselves. You just be who you are. You don't mind what people say. Huh? I like that aside. I, I like that belief, that self-belief in you. Keep it up, okay? Now, if you were to see somebody who is to start poetry today in the game, a Gambian poet, will you advise his his or him or her to come on and do poetry? Why? Because uh, in this era we are in, mm -hmm. poetry is not like before. Mm -hmm. Now you have the right to speak up what you want to say mm -hmm. and then yeah. That's right. That's right. Poetry is like sensitizing people. Sensitizing. Yes. If the person wants to join, for me, I would encourage him or mm -hmm. her to join mm -hmm. because we helping each other sure. to speak our mind. Sensitizing. Huh? You know, I think Gambia should really be uh, Gambia should really be watching out for these young ladies. You know, with with with, with the mindset that they have. Poetry is to sensitize. And of course, yes, we have a lot of things to sensitize in this country. We have a lot of things to change. And poetry is one of the tools that we are going to use to change it. And poetry diction is not an exception in doing that sensitization. Uh, now, let me, I just want to know this. Do you have a friend with it like, do, do you make friends with poets? Yes. You make a lot of friends with poets that you know a lot, that you normally know, interact with, right? All right. Um, you know, at some point, I believe I, I once believed that there is something like differences in some of between poets in this country, you know. But thank God you people are taking a different line. The thing is, we are all different people, different poets doing different things. But our we we, are, we being different people, our those different souls are one. Because after all, we are united by one umbrella and that is poetry. Okay. Do you have a project to something? Do you have a plan to drop another poem later? Uh, are you thinking of featuring somebody else? 
someone a fellow boy? Uh, we've not yet been thinking about that, but then I guess we will make plans for that later. You will make plans for that. Yeah. That will be very, that will be very, 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 very interesting. Now I have a question that I want to ask you, and I want you to take your time, and each of you will exactly tell us how do you feel about it. How do you see poetry today in the Gambia? What is your take? If you were to describe, um, if you were to describe poetry today in the Gambia, how will you describe it? Well, today in the Gambia, I will describe poetry as the power to change. Power to change. Exactly. Because uh, stages like Poetry Slam, mm -hmm. Attire Cafe, they give chances to young and aspiring poets mm -hmm. to be able to say what they feel inside them. Mm -hmm. They have the chance to say whatever they feel like saying mm -hmm. and nobody will come to tell them, tell them that this and this is what you say and you shouldn't say this and that. Mm -hmm. Now everybody has the right to say what you feel like saying mm -hmm. and that is a very good um, Yes, that's very good. Question. What is your take, Umidawa? I think poetry is improving. It's improving. Yes. Mm -hmm. Last year, for me personally, mm -hmm. I don't hear about poetry. Mm -hmm. All I know is going in front of the assembly, mm -hmm. say whatever you want to say and mm -hmm. come back. Mm -hmm. But now, I can see there is freedom of speech. Mm -hmm. We said whatever we want to say mm -hmm. in poetry mm -hmm. and no one will stop us. For me, it's improving. Wow, that's a great answer. That is a great answer. And, and yeah, definitely the trend is changing. Looking at it to, to the number of poets we have and the talents that we are seeing is just great. Now, if you were to ask for advice or if you were to ask for help from someone or from Gambians, what one thing will you want, will you recommend for poetry to be assisted? Like, for example, you want people to assist poetry. What is that thing that you want people to help poetry? Okay. Bring more platforms. More platforms. platforms, yes, and help the young poets. And help the young poets. I think, I think, I think this is very crucial. In order to push poetry forward, we must create more platforms, and in those platforms, we must encourage the young poets to, to step up and do it great. I keep on saying this: we have great poets who are well known. They are good and they are great and well respected. But two, we also have young poets who are really talented and great and Gambia must look up to these people. They are great poets. So um, their recommendation is very important. It's high time we start to create more platforms for poetry so that the young poets will have the chance to step up and showcase what they have in them. Now, how many poems do you record so far or do you write? Um, we've written six to seven poems so six far. To seven together as, as a group okay as a group those those six to seven points which of them do you term as your favorite you know that you know as a group when you do it sometimes you reply like, no i love this piece more than the other one which one do you feel is is the one that you love most and number six and then is uh our first piece your first piece was we that? love that piece a lot because looking at that piece it reminds us from where we started was it the negative thing <laughs> you people, you people like quarreling. <laughs> it was not quarreling. You know, it is the first piece we've written as a group. Okay. So the piece says a lot. It speaks volumes. Mm -hmm. Because you were at the <laughs> 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 All right. Yes. What was your favorite? What is your favorite piece? Gambia at risk. Gambia at. <laughs> Gambia at risk. I don't want to hear you. <laughs> uh, definitely, that's, uh, that capsule is interesting. Gambia at risk. How I wish I could hear a full person of the poem, but do, don't worry about that. Probably another time I'll have more time, I'll have time to listen to that. You know? That's interesting. That is, that is interesting. Gambia at risk and negative what? Negative? The negative? Negative talks. You know, these are, these are things that, um, that you really mean to. So, what, what are your last words? What's your last word? What do you want to tell the Gambian people about poetry? Um, I will urge my fellow Gambians mm -hmm. to support their own. Mm -hmm. It is very important to support your own. Law mom, soko support mm -hmm. Then that is the time the outsiders can also step in and support. Mm -hmm. If you don't support your own, mm -hmm. they will feel they are not at home. Mm -hmm. That is what I want to say to my fellow Gambians. Ah, that's good. That's touchy. And you? Okay, me. All I want to say is, all young people should come yes. uh -huh. and 
engage themselves in this poetry issue. Mm -hmm. Don't think that you will face challenges. Mm -hmm. For us, mm -hmm. I don't think we face any challenges because we have people who have who has always been there for us. Okay. Our Red Cross volunteers, elders, they are always there for us. Mm -hmm. I cannot start anywhere and say I have faced a challenges for this poetry issue since I started in last year October. So I'm encouraging all young poets to come and engage themselves in this poetry issue. Hi. Um, that was a great um, um, and that was a great and interactive session with them, you know. As young poets, you have heard what they say as Gambians. I think it's high time for, for us to start considering them and respecting them. You know, they have said a lot of things that are so much inspiring and, and touching, you know. Um, um, that comes to the end of the show. Um, till we come your way next time, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.